What's up guys, Studock here. Welcome back to more low rated duelist. We got We got a couple of penguin soldier avatars here, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but we got um Donkey Roll and Scroopy here. Soldier Veiling Light, Wave Motion Cannon for the win. I sort of got if you win because of that wave motion cannon. So Soldier Veiling Light. Oh nice, so we could just Set that right back, I guess. That is a Des Lacuda. So that's, I guess, very nice. That swords didn't really accomplish much. Book of Moon was played on the Horrors the Vla Black Flame Dragon level four, and yeah, I probably should attack that monster because I'm pretty sure that attack would have went through. I thought that only had 1500 D. He's gonna attack the newly set monster, and now you won't be able to get the Horus effect. That clutch marshmallow. Oh yeah, gotta love good old marshmallow. You already got like six watchers in here. I'm like, man. We got ourselves an audience, guys. <laughs> so I was gonna flip someone that does the Cuda. Oh wow, that was that was way off. I thought this had fifteen hundred defense, I only had six hundred defense. Yeah, you really should have attacked the Horus into that set monster. I don't know why the frick you Wanted to get greedy and attack the newly set monster, and that did not seem worth it at all, but whatever, man. So, here's an element dragon normal summon from Scoopy. Er, Sro. Sro. I don't even know. I thought that was a C, not an R. I can't even read letters. I can't even read letters anymore. I honestly thought that was a C and not an R. <laughs> so. Wow, there's a random swarm of locusts. Did not see that one coming. So maybe this is like a, a stall flip effect deck. Or isn't that? There's not really flip effects. It's kind of like mini flip. It's kind of like a flip summon deck. You know, just resetting your stuff and then flipping it every turn and just stalling the duel out. I guess I don't know. Well, it looks like these wave motion cannons are gonna probably win. Donkey this duel here. I mean you already three counters one counter next turn that could be game. Oh unless there's Imperial order Oh, yeah, I mean you might as well pay 700 life points and then paying Or then losing like 4,000 next turn, but solemn judgments can be used to negate the Imperial order Now that just sucks so you really need it out to the to These way motion cannons if you want to Win this duel so he's going to tribute for Jinzo. I don't believe he lost a thousand because of Lava Golem. Okay, now he is. You know, tribute summon during the draw phase for the win, man. You know, it is during draw phase. He's just tribute summoning during the draw phase. So, I mean, this one negate the gravity bind, but you still can't get past the Marshmallow. You know, Axe of Despair is nice and all, but now you just lose. <laughs> you literally just lose. My god, well, good game, I guess. Man. I was thinking hopefully we get a, could get a better duel than this, but the Imperial Order getting negated really just sucked big time. And, you know, Wave Motion Cannon is just the nuts in low rated duelist format, apparently. It's just the literal nuts. Because they're not always going to have the perfect out or the perfect MST or, or removal every time. So, anyway. Yeah, there you go. Way motion cannon for the ween. Alright, we're gonna be stalking Donkey Roll because why not? <laughs> and they really changed the layout here since the last time I've been on Dueling Book. There's like not even a zone in the extra deck anymore. It's just you get zero in the extra deck and there's like there's like nothing here. And like the, the decks are like pushed off a little bit and like they're not as I guess symmetrical. As, as they once were. I don't know why they changed that, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> so, anyway, there's a Silent Magician Summon. Use Silent Magician Level 4 to bring it out, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, no, he tributed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He. This was the summoning condition, the Silent Magician. 
Just tributing the one spellcaster type monster. Okay, and then. Gains 500 attack for each card in your hand. Once per turn. Spell card is activated. You can negate the activation and then destroy it. My god, so many effects. So it looked like Donkey Roll is going to be playing his Flip Summon deck. I don't even want to say it's a Flip Effect deck. It's like a Flip Summon deck. End phase, Xing Zen Hu, which was used on two set spiller traps. So those can't be activated. And just one by one, the Silent Magician is gaining attack points and it's killing these monsters. You don't got the freaking way motion cannon to steal the game this time, Donkey Roll. So it's going to be interesting how you're going to win this one. Should be interesting at least. So um, that's totally not a level limit area B set by the way. Totally not. He's going to set a monster and then reset that. Mirage Dragon normal summon from our player in the red here. Another swarm of locusts. My god, man. Stealth birds, swarm of locusts. Ugh. I see the synergy. You know, it's definitely like a stall deck of some sorts, but seems like if you're not getting that way motion cannons, like, how are you gonna win? <laughs> it's like your entire win condition is just focused on way motion cannon. <laughs> So anyway, we got Alu Alu Cardin here. It's like it's like all a card, but it's all a Cardin. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him all a card, I guess. <laughs> Tacks right into the marshmallow. Oh yeah, gotta look good on marshmallow, man. And um, despite the previous game. Ending really short, this could be an extremely long duel right here. An extremely long duel. <laughs> so, let's see. We got a Raging Flame Sprite Normal Summoned. So, if you can't deal with that, this can actually keep growing and this gets around level limit area B as well so isn't that nice so one by one this can poke for more damage every turn if that's gonna be the case maybe this could be a pretty fast game so now this will be at 1100 attack donkey's just gonna pass his turn and like I said gravity vines activated but it doesn't affect the raging flame sprite and Jinzo summoned anyway I mean, I guess now you can activate the level limit area B. Oh god, Rageki 2, man. So Jinzo will stop his own Xing Zen Hu, which I believe is activated on, on this. And that is a huge chunk of damage, oh my god. Well, just kidding, just when you thought this was going to be a long duel, no, this is not a long duel at all. So I'm just assuming he did that math correctly. This will bring him down to 300 and next turn. Yeah, you really need you really need a Raigeki of your own, I guess. <laughs> so he's going to flip over level limit area B, but this doesn't stop the raging flame sprite, which is now at what 2100 attack. Uh, how did that die? No, oh, he's just scooping. <laughs> I was about to say how the frick did that die? Jinzo MVP, there you go, Jinzo for the win. And just two very swift games here. No level limit area B equals no win, I guess. I don't know. So, anyway. I guess we can see if they're going to be doing one more duel here. Really don't want to end the video yet, but I mean, man. There you go. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the third and hopefully final duel here. So we're going to see some E-Heroes versus something here. Maybe a Synchron deck? Drill Synchron? Spirit Force? Alright then. <laughs> I mean, I guess. So twice per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. Don't really know why you want to just play like a Spirit Reaper, but you know, it's not once per turn, it's twice per turn. 
Not a lot of cards that have a card text saying twice per turn. Like they usually have like no restrictions or it just specifically says once per turn. Probably a good question. I wonder how many cards in the game actually have the text twice per turn. <laughs> like really? So there's a Synchron Explorer summoned. And that's gonna revive Drill Synchron here. Oh yeah. Now show me the power of the synchros, man. But anyway, we got Hillary Clinton 2017 here at 163 experience. And then Axel 2457 here at 100 zero. And yeah, I don't really know <laughs> why you put Hillary Clinton 2017 is I don't believe there was an election in 2017, you know. There was the year before that and then in, in 2020, but <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know, but... Unfortunately for him, Hillary Clinton did not win any elections in that year or in other years. So, yeah, sad face for our player in the red, I guess. <laughs> and wow, you're really just not going to synchro. You're going to just bring back these random monsters sitting here awkwardly. And you're not going to do anything with them. You're just going to pass your turn. Like, really? I mean, I guess... So, anyway, let's see, let's see Hillary, what you gonna do? <laughs> uh, you can use the Prisma's effect again, I, I guess, if you really want to. Apparently has not used the Prisma's effect once, as the only thing in the graveyard is the E-Call. So, you read that extra deck. I'm gonna flip some of that Avion all year. And then activate Polymerization. I mean, you really didn't have to flip some of the Avion. I mean, I guess you could try to bait out a trap hole maybe. Oh, he's not even gonna fuse with the Avion. I was I was saying, like, if you're gonna if you're gonna fuse with the Avion, you really didn't have to flip summon it, but just gonna go poly, go purposely neg for absolute zero. There you go. I'm gonna be giving up the bubble man and a necro shade here. Powerful absolute zero, get in there. And he's just gonna attack. You know, even if there's mirror force, it doesn't matter. Absolute zero can activate its effect and wipe the whole field. It's kinda hilarious. I was like mirror force would literally kill everything. Everything would die if a mirror force was activated, but apparently no mirror force. So he's gonna kill the Synchron Explorer, and now you won't be able to get rid of the shield wing as it can protect itself twice, not once, but twice. So, and there you go. I mean, you had a tuner. This was a tuner, correct? So, I mean, I don't know why he didn't want to synchro. That was just really pointless. Speaking of pointless stuff, yeah, you're going to attack that twice. It doesn't accomplish anything. <laughs> so, anyway, it's going to be back to Axel's turn here. And let's see. What will it be, Axel? What will it be? He's tributing. Oh, man. He is... Tributing and not... And he's going to tribute and then set a spell to trap. Okay. <laughs> How did this die? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea how the shield wing died. I am so sorry, guys. I have no idea. Yeah, why destroy it? That's the same exact question I'm asking. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was tribute summoning, or maybe he lost count. Maybe he thought it got attacked three times the previous turn. It's like, no. <laughs> so that was just random right there. So if he's gonna be sending another set spell or trap. <sighs> mirror force would be really, really nice. <laughs> Cause there's no fear of mirror force on that previous turn. So what will it be? <laughs> Oh, what will it be? He's talking to his aunt. Sorry, I was talking to my aunt. 
Okay then, big shout out to Axel's aunt, everyone. <laughs> you are on YouTube, kind of. Just gonna smack, throw down that regeki, just smack it down on the table, there you go. Right off the bat, doesn't even think, he just smacks it down on the table, there you go. Just throws the regeki at him. He wants to win this turn. He's desperate to win this turn. And yeah, that, that definitely will be game if that new set isn't anything, because apparently this set right here is not anything, so. And yep, it's nothing. GG. There you go. Well, that sucks. So, I don't know what the frick um, these plays were supposed to be. Probably should have synchroed, but it didn't, didn't work out. And yep, that's game. So anyway, um, yeah, thank you all for watching this episode. As always, um, three swift games. Not the most entertaining of games. Oh, just kidding. They're going to be doing a rematch. I guess we have to save for the rematch, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think this was nearly, nearly entertaining enough to just just call it quits already. If they're going to do a rematch, I'm going to I'm going to sit here and see and see if Axel can finally do something. Come on. Come on, Axel, do something, man. Do something. <laughs> so, he is going to decide to go first. And they both got 40 card decks. They both got a 15 in the extra deck. But, I don't know. I do like that Snowman Eater avatar. I got a little good old Snowman Eater. Yeah. Snowman Eater probably was one of those cards that I made a decent investment on. I got two of the, the Super Rare Turbo Pack Snowman Eaters for dirt cheap, hoping that one of these days they would go up in price, but it, it never has. Yeah, I don't think Snowman Eater is ever really going to be meta relevant ever again. Such a shame, because it really was for like for like a couple of years. It really was a really good card, and you know the, the hollow versions were like 30 bucks. I mean, I knew it had potential to go up in price, but unfortunately, I don't think Snowman Eater is ever going to be good again. Really sucks. I love the car and great artwork. Looks amazing and hollow, but <sighs> it's still dirt cheap. I mean, maybe one of these days they can go up. Maybe I should just buy like a whole bunch of them. So anyway, setting all the back row this duel. Got a Changer Synchron. Which wasn't going to do anything. <laughs> Wild Heart Summon again from Hillary Clinton. Like, dang. So, Spirit Force used again on your opponent's turn. A damage cow the battle damage you take from this battle zero. Then you can add a warrior tuner monster with 1500 or less defense from your graveyard to your hand. A warrior tuner. Is this a warrior tuner? No, that is a machine tuner, my good sir. That was a machine tuner. How sad. So that Spirit Force pretty much was like a Wabaku, I guess. I mean, pretty bad. You know, even Defense Draw would have been better than that. Like, very, very lame. So now he's going to go for Synchron Explorer to bring back Change Your Synchron. You know, he can Synchro for a level 3, but no, he's not. <laughs> he's just going to end his turn. Man, no idea what the frick I'm going to title this video. Is this How to Not Play a Synchro Deck? <laughs> A lot of how to nots lately. Yeah, basically how to not play a synchro deck. Just watch, just watch Axel on Dueling Book, everyone. <laughs> if you want to learn how to not play a synchro deck. So anyway, there is a Captain Gold summoned. He already got a skyscraper, so I might as well go for the that beat down. 2100 attack level 4 monster now isn't that powerful that is so powerful the problem is that it has the malefic effect there's like if you get the mst on the skyscraper it's a plus one because not only does the the field spell die but also the monster itself will die kind of like the malefics that's why malefics were really not ever that competitive of a deck 
if you had no field spell, you weren't doing anything. But there were some uh, malefic stun decks with like skill drain. You'd have skill drain, and you could just throw down a malefic cyber Ren dragon, a 4K beater like that, and just blow out your opponent out of nowhere. That was pretty cool. But I mean, malefic themselves as an archetype was never that competitive, but you know, it's still an interesting concept. So, Scrap Iron Scarecrow was able to negate this attack. And now we get to see a Junk Servant summon from Axel here. So, I mean... Okay, then. <laughs> you gonna Synchro for anything? Are you gonna Synchro for anything this duel, man? Like, come on. At least go for, like, a level 5. Like, you got 15 in this extra deck. That's a lot of Morphing Jars. You got 15 cards in the extra deck. And you're just not summoning anything from the extra deck. I don't know why you're not doing that. Just gonna MST the Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Normal summon a random Spark Man and attempt to win this duel. But man, Axel, I was, I was giving you an, an extra game here. I easily could have ended the video, you know, after the, the previous duel, but. No, I was like, I'm gonna stay for the rematch. I want to see you do something, synchro something. But no, like, what is this? <laughs> it seems like all four games in this episode is just gonna be freaking people getting their butt whooped. I don't want to say complete blowouts. Like they weren't complete blowouts, but it mean it's mainly just one guy getting his butt whooped. Alright then, so he's got the, the H heated heart. Gains 500 attack and then he can do some piercing, okay then. I mean, the piercing's actually pretty good because this is zero defense. That's really not too shabby, I guess. There's a Miracle's Wake activated. Target monster that was destroyed by battle this turn, a special summon, I mean, I guess. I mean. Okay, he's gonna go for the kamikaze there. He didn't have to do that. He could have redeclared if he want if he really wanted to, but I guess he doesn't want to redeclare. Which I mean, I guess it's decent. You already have control of the game. Might as well clean up as much as of your opponent's field as you can. And then graceful revival activated. Special summon that target in attack position. LOL. Yeah, that is not attack position, believe it or not, but I really don't think it's going to matter. Yep, and it looks like Hillary is going to be catching his opponent on that chat. You chat! You chat! How dare you chat! And is this game? Oh yeah, that has zero attack, so this will be game unless there is half shut. Oh yeah. It has very amazing artwork, even though it's probably not the best of cards. <laughs> Cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. Also, its attack is halved until the end of the- Wait, target one face on the- So I'm assuming he's doing it on the Captain Gold? I mean, I guess. So you're kind of hoping out your opponent's monster, but it doesn't matter. You gotta do it to protect your life. And you were safe by 100 with that half shut. Wow. <laughs> so that was able to cut this in half, I'm assuming. And then you got that beautiful 100 life points left. Beautiful 100 life points left. And Rapid Warrior summoned. Okay, you can attack directly, that's not going to accomplish anything. Deep Prism is just going to clean it up, just to, just because you might as well. I mean, you already know you're going to win this duel next turn, so you might as well just Deep Prism it. Like, at this point of the duel, there's no point of trying to conserve the Deep Prism, and looks like that's going to be game. Yup. So, Axel, you're telling me you get two duels playing a Synchro deck, a Synchron deck, whatever, and you're not going to go for one Synchro the entire duel despite having multiple opportunities to Synchro? Like, god dang, man. 
No, I'm not staying for game three. I'm sorry. I gave you two games. I gave you two games. You couldn't do anything, man. Like, you're not getting the third game. I'm so, so sorry. So, anyway. Um, thank you all for watching this episode of Low Rated Duelists, as always. Um, yeah. Basically, if any of you guys want any more help on how to not play a Synchro deck, just um, stalk Axel2457 on DuelingBook.com. That's all I got. So, anyway, thank you all for watching, as always. Until next time, this has been Stew Dog. And I'm signing out. <laughs>